Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, we'll be discussing best gaming speakers of 2022. All the product links are given in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Klipsch Pro Media 2.1 Speaker System is one of the oldest PC gaming speaker systems on the market, and it's still one of the most popular speaker systems. It is an excellent choice for gamers, but it's also great for movies and music, and the speaker system is under $200. The subwoofer can go down to 31 Hz, which is pretty low for its size. Those two-way satellites with recognizable Klipsch Microtrax horn tweeters and mid-bass woofers deliver rich and detailed mids and highs. There are also some downsides you should be aware of. The first, and the most annoying thing, is that satellites are hardwired. The cables are long, probably even too long, but are not detachable. If cable breaks, you must open the satellite speaker to replace it. Also, the speaker is pricey, mainly because it's THX certified. The THX certification is not free. To get the certification, you must pay for the tests. If you are looking for a 2.1 speaker system and your budget is set to $150 or $200, Klipsch Pro Media 2.1 speaker system is one of the best options. It delivers excellent sound quality with punchy bass, clear and detailed mids, and crisp highs. A gaming headset is typically the best way to get high quality sound for games. Still, headphones and even gaming laptop speakers can't exactly fill a whole room with sound. You need a separate speaker system if you want powerful audio for your PC. The $499.99 LG Ultra Gear GP9 is a soundbar, explicitly built for gaming, with a design that can fit under your monitor. It supports Bluetooth playback, supports RGB lighting, and even has a headset port that enables it to function as a surround-capable sound card. Most importantly, it drives loud, clear audio. The GP9 has a chunky, trapezoidal design with gamer-targeted industrial theme elements, such as angled slants that sit over metal grills and RGB lighting that lights those grills and the center Ultra Gear logo. The speaker measures 2.9 by 14.8 by 3.9 inches and weighs a hefty 3.3 pounds. It's short enough to fit comfortably under your monitor and heavy enough to stay in place on your desk. The GP9 relies on two sets of 2-inch woofers and 0.8-inch tweeters, each paired with a passive bass radiator on the back. It has a maximum output power of 20 watts. You can't use Bluetooth and wire connections simultaneously. Still, you can connect your phone to the speaker via Bluetooth and use the GP9 as a speakerphone. Otherwise, the Bluetooth connectivity feels like a secondary function because the GP9 isn't ideal for a portable speaker. It has a modest battery life, up to 5 hours between charges. The LG Ultra Gear GP9 is a powerful soundbar that can sit below your monitor to deliver loud, detailed sound for gaming and any other audio you play through it. Still, it's costly and not especially portable. Let's start with the price. The Pebble Plus can be had for under $40 making these speakers attractive, but despite a low asking price, build quality hasn't been compromised. The plastics feel tough, chunky rubber grips are beneath each speaker, and the subwoofer box is both light and solid. Essentially, the subwoofer is what makes this the plus. As good as they are, the speakers already come in a package on their own for around $20, but it's the subwoofer that really makes it. The entire package has two modes, the regular 5 watt RMS mode, which produces good volume, a pleasant warm sound, and impressively requires only USB power. There's also an additional high gain mode that bumps up to 8 watts RMS, but for this, you'll need to provide external power with a 5 volt 2 amp power break. Creative Pebble Plus should definitely be on the short list if you're shopping for PC speakers. These are very good even if you're not particularly looking for budget speakers. The design is excellent. The subwoofer adds just the right amount of punch and you get a lot of volume without worrying about distortion. The G560 features six high-powered RGB LEDs per speaker, four facing the rear and two for the front. At maximum brightness, they can be a little distracting in a dark room, but a nifty button at the top of the right speaker lets you tone it down or turn them off completely. A pleasant rainbow color cycle works as the default mode, but jumping into Logitech gaming software is when the magic happens. The software allows you to choose between two control modes for the speakers. Hardware control ditches the software and uses Bluetooth or AUX input devices for lighting. 
you get the same rainbow color cycle that also acts as an auto visualizer that flashes and brightens to the beat of the music being played. Switching to software control allows you to choose between fixed color, color cycle, breathing, audio visualizer, and screen sampler. The software takes user-defined areas of the screen. It extends the colors outwards to create a very immersive lighting experience. However, since a good portion of this effect relies on the rear-facing LEDs, the speakers need to be positioned right beside your display with their back against the wall to get the best outcome. Like most brands creating RGB peripherals, Logitech has an SDK that allows developers to fully utilize the G560 lighting. During the game, the lighting varies depending on the siren lighting while entering pursuit mode, low ammo indicators, and much more. As for the bass, it was disappointing to see the lack of independent bass or volume controls on these speakers considering Logitech's much cheaper sets have them. Considering the amount of the product, it is worth buying. Its compact size ensures you're enchanted right away at first glance, so move out and see for yourself. No matter how you arrange it, standing independently on each side of the monitor or lying merged together beneath, you'll love it either way. The product amount comes to $24.49. The plug and play features ensures broad compatibility, USB powered with three pins. Using the 5mm mic and audio cables gives this rock star the capacity of partying on a wide range of PC, TV, or laptop stages. A volume knob and a precision on and off switch allow you to adjust the volume conveniently and precisely. You will also have access to an extra audio and microphone port to manage your peripheral devices, and the speakers come with a microphone and headphone jack. Red Dragon GS550 comes with its incredible bass. Each speaker has a 2-inch driver unit with a maximum of 3-watt power. Additionally, the Red Dragon GS550 speakers are very portable due to their size and weight. It also allows you to connect it to your TV, watch your favorite shows, and experience the excellent high-quality sound of Red Dragon's Orpheus gaming speakers. If you are not a hardcore gamer, this is hard to recommend. This product is specifically for PC gamers. The company makes all kinds of peripherals for gamers, including keyboards, mice, and headsets. We recently looked at one of these speaker setups, the Nomo Pro, and as much as we liked it, $300 is a steep price to pay for anyone. Suppose you were interested in them but wanted something a little less expensive. In that case, you should probably check out the Razer Nomo Chroma speakers, which only come at $148. The Noma Chroma is a watered-down version of the Noma Promo, which isn't necessarily bad. The apparent difference is that the Noma Chroma lacks the giant subwoofer of the Pro, so while the entire setup is easier to manage, it lacks a strong low end. It's also missing the dedicated 20mm tweeters, instead of just the 3-inch full-range drivers to handle everything. The design is similarly sleek, made of smooth, all-black plastic. Although they only stand about 9 inches tall, they're 6 inches in length, which is a hassle if you don't have some space on your desk. But the stand is where all the fun happens, as both the speakers have a minimal ring of color around the bottom. You can control these colors via a downloadable desktop app, but I don't mind them as they come out of the box. It's subtle, and it adds just the right amount of flair. They're also not just there for aesthetics, but they serve a functional purpose too. The Razer Nomo Chroma speakers are easy to set up, only needing to be plugged into a power source, the computer, and each other. The cables are solidly built and seem to easily reach where I need them. Unfortunately, when it comes to connecting to a source, there aren't too many options here. You can plug in a 3.5mm cable on the back, and another input is labeled headphone. Still, the primary way you will connect is via USB. The Razer Nomo Chroma is missing the THX certification. The Nomo Chroma doesn't get nearly as loud as the Nomo Pro, but it should be sufficient if you're sitting at your desk or in a bedroom. Just don't expect to get the house party going with these. If you spend a lot of time at home sitting in front of your computer gaming, the Razer Nomo Chroma is a good option. They sound okay, have minimal chroma lighting for a bit of personal flair, and give you a decent amount of control over the low end with a hardware knob. The problem is, is that's all they do. Using these for almost anything else besides sitting at your desk is hard. That isn't a big deal since these are made to be computer speakers, but it would have been nice to at least have Bluetooth for when you want to play music off a phone for the price.
The Razer Nomochroma might not be one of our picks for best computer speakers, but they do get the job done. If only they were a little more well-rounded. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel.